Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Austin. Happy Minho Day. Today is Minho's birthday from Shiny, obviously. And uh, he also released his new song, Heartbreak. Um, I'm very excited. So what I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna do a little Minho video. We're gonna look at uh, his first like solo song, or I think it was a station song called I'm Home. I think it's called I'm Home. And then we're going to look at a Tokyo Dome performance he did of a song that I don't recognize. But I heard it was a cover, so that'll be fun. And then I'm going to end this video by checking out his newest song that just came out today for his birthday. I love that. I love it when artists release just something on their birthday. Uh, Moonbeal is actually doing that tomorrow on her birthday, so I will be reacting to that as well. But anyway, if you're new, consider subscribing, check out my shiny playlist, and uh, and yes, I did see Minho's body rhythm. No, you don't have to tag me. You don't have to keep tagging me in it on Twitter. I've seen it. <laughs> All right, let's go. All right, first up is I'm Home. I have no idea what to expect. Minho is obviously Shiny's main rapper, but he's also an amazing vocalist. I really love his voice, so... I don't know, this might have a little bit of singing, a little bit of rapping, or it might just be all singing. Either way, I'm gonna love it. Let's go. Station. Station. <laughs> I hate that. <laughs> oh, okay, so, all right. We're starting off cute. All right. Oh, this is kind of chill. Oh, uh. so he's like at a hotel, it looks like. And that was his wake up call. Oh, I really like that low note. This is really sweet. It's just very chill and it's very soft. I don't I don't know what I was expecting. Um Yeah, I don't know what I was expecting. I didn't know if I was gonna get like a body rhythm minho just like thrusting aggressively or uh but I really like this. This is really nice. I think it suits his personality. <laughs> Oh, not the glasses, sir. <laughs> He's very handsome. Oh, okay. This is sweet. So, so he was like on a business trip and just thinking about how he misses whoever this song is about, probably Key. Um, <laughs> and like waking up in a hotel room and then just, yeah, doing all the boring business stuff. But he's just like, baby, I'm home. I'm coming home. This is sweet. Did he release this like? No, this came out while before he enlisted. I think this came out before he enlisted. Oh, he is rapping. Oh, he's rapping. I don't think he would fly and coach, though. <laughs> like, I don't think he'd be sitting next to an old man from Wisconsin. Um, I feel like he would be in first class. Up in the sky, popping champagne, living the life in the fast lane. Because he's glamorous. That was a Fergie reference if you're like a fetus. 
그냥 흘러가는 대로 따라가 거리로 흘러 정정 말이 나를 당겨주네 밝은 조명 시끄러운 음악 화려한 옷 비싼 술 집에 돌아오니 모두 꿈 같아 아 uh. Wait, did we just sigh at the same time? Who's that? This song is really sad. Oh, he's gonna propose. See, this finger is empty. Yeah, some things in life are way more important than work. And um, that was good. Um, I wish there were captions. There were not captions. Um, just because it came out a couple years ago, I don't know why, but there aren't English captions. So I'm just kind of, I kind of like that though, because it, it makes you look at the video and kind of the story that's happening. And then mixed with some of the English words, you kind of feel what's going on for yourself and you make up your own story but I wouldn't say it was like a sad song it felt more like um like a longing like he just really wanted to go home and just it was just about that time that he was wasting doing like the business stuff and the time that was counting down until he could go home and see whoever he wanted to see and I guess propose to them. But like, I don't think it was the white lady on the airplane. I think that was just a daydream. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I really liked the song. It was really chill. I wasn't sure what we were going to get. We got a little rap section in there, which was cool. It was like a spoken rap, which I love. It definitely felt like the storytelling of this song. Um, but yeah, I really liked it. That was good. All right. This next one is a live stage from Tokyo Dome solo. Um, I guess the name of the song is called Kiseki. Um, I don't know anything about this song other than what people told me on Twitter. And I guess it's like a cover of a Japanese song that I've never heard. So, um, I'm sure it'll be great though. Cause it's Minho. So let's go. Okay, baseball player. Wait, what jersey did he have on? Was that a Red Sox jersey? Oh, it just says his name. Sorry, I thought it was a Red Sox. That's a lot of people. I love you so much too. This is totally, oh, look at that smile. This is totally a song that he would sing for the fans talking about I love you so much. I love him. Oh.
<laughs> He's just having fun and I love it. Oh, that would suck. I'm sorry, look at that. Girl, they're at a concert and he's like right behind you, but you're looking the opposite direction because you're looking at the big screen? Mm-mm, mm, -mm. I would hate that. I don't want to be looking at a big screen. Like his, he's right there. I guess that's the downside of big concerts though, right? Unless you have a really good seat, you're kind of watching a screen all night. What hat is he wearing? Is that a sports team? You can tell he's definitely singing live because you heard that little laugh he just did. And he sounds really good. Is that just a random girl in the audience? No! <laughs> Nope. She would have had a heart attack. And then they wrote that song, Heart Attack, about her. That song was about her because mm -mm, she didn't survive that night. Oh my God. This is sweet, this is cheesy, this is Japanese. I love it. How does his hair look so good after being in a hat? Yes. Is that rap in the original song or did he add that? Because that rap part was really good. Oh, he's getting emotional. Oh. Yeah, this song is really special though. Just reading the lyrics. I just got goosebumps from how sweet this is. This song was for us. This song was for the Shaw Wolf. Yes, that was so sweet. Ugh.
We love the little acapella at the end. Just proven that he has those SM vocals. That was incredible. Um, super sweet. I think that if he wasn't your bias before this, you probably left this concert with him being your bias. But honestly, it's pretty much impossible to have a bias in Shiny. Like, I started as a key bias, and then Minho kind of... The more I learned about them, Minho is kind of a package deal with Key. They're always <laughs> together. So Minho became my second bias. Um, and then just seeing cute stuff of Onu on Twitter. And then watching Onu's performances. Fell in love with Onu. And then with Taemin, I think the moment I fell in love with Taemin really was the Criminal music video. Because that song is so good. And then I remember just seeing Taman being like an absolute monster, like a menace, talking about how, um, I don't even remember, he like stole keys, car keys, or house keys. He stole his house or something, and they were just fighting in the car. And there's tons of clips like that of Taman just being an absolute menace to all of the members. And <laughs> I love it so much. So that was the moment that Taman kind of also became a bias just because he's so ridiculous and so talented. And obviously Jong Hyun, um, he will always have like a special place. I love him so much. Jong Hyun pretty much was added to the bias list. The first live performance I ever saw when I saw like how incredible he is on stage, how much energy he has, he really has stage presence that's really hard to find. Just owning that stage, thousands of people in the audience, and like it's like he's the only person that matters on the stage. He just owns it and makes it his on top of his incredible voice and writing and production. Man, Shiny is just... There's something else. They're they're just a really special group. I love them so much. And I'm very excited to check out Minho's newest song, which is called Heartbreak. It just came out today for his birthday. Let's check it out. All right, this is Heartbreak. Let's go. Oh. Oh, this is like a Matrix. It's like a reference to the Matrix from the 90s. Oh, cool. There's actually a new Matrix movie that just came out. Um, I heard it's garbage. So obviously make <laughs> watch it yourself and judge for yourself. But I heard it's not very good. <laughs> Ugh. His voice. Oh. oh, that melody, how it ascended, and then he did the vocal run down. That was really pretty. The Matrix, yeah. Oh. Oh, this is smooth. I just got chills everywhere. His voice. He's given us like businessman with glasses look in both of these videos. Like obviously that. He 
He's a very classy, very dapper gentleman. He looks incredible in anything, but I think my favorite Minho is suit and tie. Throw in the glasses for a little extra. He looks so good, so handsome. This is really good. Before we get into this bridge, I was just hearing this in my head. I really like the vibe of this song, how it's really chill and mid-tempo and kind of like that, like R&B pop, just like chill vibey music. It's really vibey. Um, I was thinking how pretty this would be if it was just piano and just him singing, like an acoustic version of this song would be so pretty because the vocal melodies and his singing is gorgeous. So I don't, I didn't watch his live concert thing. Unfortunately, I didn't get to see that. Um, but if he did an acoustic version of this, I have to see it. His voice got a little bit stronger too uh, compared to the I'm Home song in this song. Um, I don't think it's just a production difference. His lower end notes actually sound more supported. Um, so I think he might have been working. He's always been a good singer. Um, I'm just noticing those lower end notes. They actually sound more supported. Just fuller. Hey. This is so catchy though. Oh, that was good. That was really good. Um, it almost gave me, um, like, I don't want to offend anybody, right? Minho's his own artist, obviously. Um, but this song almost feels like it could have fit on Key's Bad Love album. It almost felt like it, it could have fit on that. They were kind of similar in terms of like the production and the sound. I don't know if it was the same producers that worked on Key's album um, or maybe the same songwriters, but I'm really glad that Minho got the song because ah, hearing his voice and singing that, it this just works really well with his voice and his range. And I'm actually glad that there wasn't a rap part in the song. I feel like too often K-pop songs just kind of force a random like rap verse in there and it just like it sounds okay but it doesn't it doesn't fit right um this was reminding more of like uh I don't know like I guess it's K-pop because it was in Korean and it's a song but 
No, it was reminding me more of like Key and Taeon's song. Just chill. It's just a mood. It's a vibe. And I love it so much. I think this style fits Minho so much. And I would love it if he released like a full solo album. Give me a couple songs like this, right? Give me a couple booty shaking songs because he's got to do body rhythm and, you know, the fans will go crazy and whatever and SM will make their money. Um, but like also give him a chance to just shine as an artist and songs like this. I just love, sorry, I just love this song so much. Out of these three songs, Heartbreak is definitely my favorite. Um, and it's one of my favorite songs from any shiny like soloist. I think Criminal will always be my favorite because Taman's Criminal is just, ugh. That song is just iconic. Um, Key's Bad Love is up there, but Heartbreak, amazing. I love it so much. Um, I hope you enjoy, I hope you enjoyed my video. Um, I don't know if Shaw Wolves care about like streaming or if Shiny even cares about streaming and numbers and stuff, but stream the music video. Show Minho that you support him and um, that this song is a bop because it is. I loved it so much. Um, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.